think of my family. Otto Warmbier was just 22 years old when he suddenly arrived from North Korea in a coma. Late today, his family confirmed he would never wake up. His family now says the awful, torturous mistreatment our son received at the hands of the North Koreans ensured that no other outcome was possible beyond the sad one we experienced today. A lot of bad things happened, but at least we got him home to be with his parents, where they were so happy to see him, even though he was in very tough condition. It's a brutal regime, and we'll be able to handle it. Last week, Warmbier's father spoke to reporters in the same jacket his son wore when he begged for his freedom. Please save my life. And I'm so glad you're home. You are such a great guy. A student wow. at the University of Virginia, Warmbier had been on a tour of the secretive country when in January of 2016, he was jailed for stealing a propaganda poster and sentenced to hard labor. He finally returned to his home state of Ohio. His neurological condition can be best described as a state of unresponsive wakefulness. North Korea claims warm beer contracted botulism then slipped into an unconscious state after taking a sleeping pill. Even if you believe their explanation of botulism and a sleeping pill causing the coma, and we don't, there is no excuse for any civilized nation to have kept his condition secret. Tonight, his death is still a mystery, but the outrage over it is mounting. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.